Hello guys, welcome to my channel Lisa's Nobel Profession. Today I will explain about worm chain. So what is worm chain? The worm chain is a set of interlinked procedure to be taken at birth and during the next few hours and days in order to minimize heat loss in all newborns. So what are the objectives? First, protect. The worm chain by developing strategies for collaboration and conflict of interest safeguards. Next, promote the worm chain approach and showcase good examples of linkage. Next is support. The worm chain by coordinating training, technical support and research to enhance knowledge and skills. I think the most important part of the worm chain is skilled support for a mother from antenatal care until the time breastfeeding ends through the thousand days. We also need to get it right to the people who are responsible for public health and organizational services. You can easily memorize worm chain by a mnemonic. What is it? We went in summer but brother and mother provided water. First, we. We stands for warm delivery room. When stand for warm resuscitation. In stand for immediate drying. Summer stands for skin to skin contact. But stands for breastfeeding. Brother stand for bathing postpone. And stands for appropriate clothing. Mother stands for mother and baby togetherness. Provided stands for professional alertness. Water stands for warm transportation. Now, I will explain about the 10 steps of warm chain. First, warm delivery room. Keep the delivery room warm. Make sure the delivery should keep at 26 to 28 degrees centigrade. Next, next is warm resuscitation. Switch on warmer 20 to 30 minutes before delivery. Warm at least two sheets. Next, immediate drying. Dry skin with warm cloth, discard wet cloth after wiping, wrap in dry towel, cover head to toe, plastic bag or wrap if less than 32 weeks. Next, skin to skin contact. For stable babies, start skin to skin immediately after birth. Allow breast crawl for up to an hour. Vitamin K and weighing after skin to skin contact. Next, breastfeeding. Breastfeed within one hour after birth. Feed as soon as possible after C-section. Discourage pre-lacteal feeds. 6. Postpone bathing. Postpone bathing for 24 hours. Next, appropriate clothing. Cover head to toe. Use caps, socks and mittens, etc. Extra clothing in winter. Change wet nappies promptly. Next, mother and baby together. Rooming in, bedding in, if not in kangaroo mother care, wrap and place next to the mother. Next, professional alertness. Educate all members of team. Train all members in resuscitation, KMC, breastfeeding, use of equipment like radiant, warmer, incubator, etc. Give in-service education to team members and update their knowledge. Next is warm transportation. Use transport incubator, skin to skin, wrapping in utero transfer for high-risk babies. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you.